Hello, Transformation Church family. My name is Ray, and I'm the worship director here at this amazing church. And we are on day 17 of our 21 days of prayer and fasting. And um, how you hanging in there? How you feeling? Um, I hope going into this second week, um, it's getting a little bit easier and you're getting more revelation and the fast is um, blessing you as much as it has been blessing me. So let's get into the word. Our first scripture is Psalms 86 and 6. And it says, Will you not revive us again that your people may rejoice in you? Psalms 80, 18 through 19. Then we will not turn away from you. Revive us and we will call on your name. Restore us, Lord God Almighty. Make your face shine on us that we may be saved. And our last scripture is Second Chronicles 7 and 14. If my people who are called by my name will humble themselves and pray and seek my face and turn from their wicked ways, then I will hear from heaven and will forgive their sin and will heal their land. So the topic is to experience revival. Um, I just think that um, it is so um, important and just necessary to be in God's presence so that we get get a revival you know we get renewed and this fast seriously has been that for me like I feel like I see God um, in a way that I haven't seen him in a long time um, I feel like I hear him clearer and I see him daily in the little things God has done tremendous things in my life I have stories for days I know um, many of us you know many of you know that I got into a car accident in um, November of last year and the way God worked that out my healing process and just getting another car like God's doing amazing things he's in the big things and I'm grateful for that but I also see God and the little things like maybe feeling a little bit anxious throughout the day and, and the scripture um, will remind me of his peace or um, a smile from some someone that I don't know. Like just seeing God in multiple ways, talking to friends and hearing testimonies of what God is doing in their life. Also all ways that I see God, but I'm recognizing that there, he's he's doing this every day. I'm just kind of realizing it a little bit more. Um, and I'm grateful for that. I think sometimes as Christians, as believers, we go through the motions. We um, kind of get a little stagnant. We already know uh, what to say and what to do. And we just serve God, which is important to have a relationship but it's also important to continue to get um, daily revelations. And when we are getting stagnant, it is necessary to get a, a clear, um, uh, like a new lens and new fresh ears to continue again to get those revelations from God. And when we're not, we got to get into that place. So whether it's a fast or going to a revival. Y'all remember the revivals? I remember going to revivals growing up. But um, either going to revivals or going to a conference to get renewed, um, it's important. And it's also important to know that this fast, though it is amazing, um, but it doesn't have to just be something that is at the beginning of the year. It can be incorporated in our lives daily. Um, it can be incorporated in our lives where we're fasting from something. We take a couple weeks off and then we go back to the fast. And it's something that we do each month, twice a month, or just make it a part of our life, a part of our regimen, because we need to constantly get renewed. Sometimes we get so far removed from um, 
the things of God because we're just so used to it. And we never want to get used to God so that we just really can't hear him or we expect him to come in one way. We expect him to talk to us only in one way. But it's really um, just refreshing when we are getting new revelations, when we are setting things aside, setting time aside each and every day um, to have God speak with us. So it's uh, it's been amazing this fast has been extremely reviving for me and i hope has been the same for you i'm gonna pray for us and let's pray dear father god you are um the god of renewal the god of restoration and you are doing a work in our lives through this fast and we are grateful thank you for constantly revealing yourself to us and constantly bringing us closer to you. I pray that each and every one of um, the, the members of this church that is on this fast, they um, experience you in a way that they have never experienced you before and have many testimonies of your goodness at this time. We love you and need you at all times. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Bye. Love you all.